Hey guys, this is Arab and you're watching Arab Tech. So in this video, I'm come back for the video on Redmi Note 10. I know I'm too late to get the video for you, but this is this time you're getting the Dot OS 5.2, which is theme like Android 12, but still running on Android version 11. I know that many homes are building the Android 12 builds, but I don't know why Dot OS is not providing. You get a uh, Android security update of first October 2021. And the kernel version is Pixel Experience CD. I don't know why they have used Pixel Experience kernel version, but I must tell you that you can install an another kernel according to you. As you can see, the CD status is in person. And so let me start from the network. I've used my Wi Fi and network both. I used my GeoSync. There is no issues with the GeoSync at all. As you can see, Wi Fi hotspot both are working. There is no issue with that also. AP band is 5 gigahertz band preferred. So both bands were supported in this home. And connected devices, peer new devices. As you can see, I am just using my neckline. Feet on tiny beats. It is awesome experience and good quality of voice that it is providing. Customizations, as you can see, it provides customizations like Android 12, but not the current Android 12. As you can see that I have selected the system color. So if I select green and it will automatically change into green color. As you can see this. The whole icon should be changed into green color. If you want for wallpaper colors like I have selected this wallpaper, it automatically changes to that. As you can see, it in few minutes it will automatically change to that. So I don't want to continue with the wallpapers color. So I just selected this. Clock face you can adjust clock face here. I am thinking that why dot is not provide Android is clock face. Partially they are giving them uh, Android 12 boot but not fully. Launcher guide you can enable launcher guide. And these were the normal things, more settings, always on display. It also also works because of the AMOLED display is there, edge lighting does works, screen of animations like CRT. As you can see this, I've just left it to my fingerprint and there is an option for the scale like this and it works. There is no issues with that also. Status bar and quick settings. These were the normal things that every ROM is having. They have just added them a new look of that. Nothing is being added. App lock is there. Like I have separated my fingerprint, app lock there. Like I locked NTP benchmark, and if I go to NTP benchmark, it first asks for the fingerprint, then it prints the app. So these were the normal settings for the customizations. There is gaming mode is there. I will talk to the, about the game mode in the previous videos and in the next video also. And display, these were the normal things. The app theme work according to your selected wallpapers, everything. Live display is there. And you can see you can calibrate your display according to you. Styles and wallpapers out there. And as you can see, you can enable from there. Colors, natural, boosted, saturated. I just left it to natural. There is not a huge difference according to me with uh, natural and boosted colors. About the sound, you get these all types of new look of sound, but this normal sound options that every ROM is having. Live captions is there. You have to just download this live caption application from the Play Store and then you can install that. Battery. I have just put on my charger for the battery and as you can see I just take my charger to the phone and about 15 minutes ago and it completed 60%. So yeah, fast charging is there. As you can see this, I have just Disable that as you can see, there is Android 12 clock also charging rapidly. Once again, let it focus charging rapidly. Apps and notifications is there. You can get a pixel launcher by a default launcher. Permission manager is there and privacy. I don't like to enable the locations because you know that every developer has to get, collect the 
data from your location and everything so i don't enable privacy setting and any location security by default you get screen lock and fingerprint fingerprint and face unlock like you see see i have just enabled fingerprint so it works locations i have already disabled this they are already written that location may use sources like gps wifi i don't like to do that system gestures no customization for the fill in a fill bar there you get a update but as you can see i have connected to the internet but it is not so according to me it doesn't work developer options is there but you can't get any dsc load no option up in there and if you ask me for the performance of the images let me go to the screenshots and as you can see it is the wide band element supported grm info i have just enabled a gaming mode on that i know that gaming mode doesn't make any difference of that and it works like a charm and you get a security level of l1 and you can uh, stream your content in full hd and hdr and we know that it supports 60 hz refresh rate and if you ask me for this thermal throttling test result and here is the gaming mode enable thermal throttling test no cpu thermal throttling detected out there and without gaming mode you can see this it is also no cpu thermal throttling test detected this is a single core score of this room is 517 and multi core score is 481 so according to you can imagine i think you have to install pixel experience apart from this room it depends on you it's a experience not providing this type of customizations right now but you can install that also if you want the performance then you should go to with the pixel experience if you want to see gaming mode how it works it is the gaming mode option you can take screenshots from here when you are gaming and you get a slightly edge bar of like ui slightly as you can see this is the new gaming mode options and this was the fully and final review for this room dot os 5.2 so i am arav and signing you in this week of signing up in this video we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye